Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is also rolling out the Patch Tuesday updates for Windows 11. And these were also made um, available on the 9th of May. And um, the updates are rolling out for Windows 11 22H2 and Windows 11 21H2. Now, um, the updates um, are compulsory automatic updates, so they will be downloaded and installed automatically. And for Windows 11 22H2, the update is KB5026372. And for Windows 11, the original release, um, the update will be KB5026368. Now, um, the updates are security updates. Um, the Patch Tuesday updates, as many of you will know, um, always include security updates. And um, for both versions of Windows 11, we get give or take 20 um, fixes that have rolled out. So 20 vulnerabilities have been addressed. And um, the same applies for Windows 11 that applied to Windows 10. They get four critical vulnerabilities that have been addressed with these latest Patch Tuesday updates for Windows 11. And those critical vulnerabilities, um, a critical is um, your highest rated. And those critical vulnerabilities are remote code execution vulnerabilities. So that means um, that your system can be accessed remotely over the internet or over a network. So 20 vulnerabilities have rolled out in total for both versions of Windows 11 this month. Now, um, over and above that, um, over, and above, uh, over and above being a very important security update, which has obviously rolled out those security fixes, for Windows 11 22H2, as I did post on um, for the April bug fix updates that rolled out, which were KB5025305 for Windows 11 22H2, um, the bug fix update that rolled out near the end of April also included one or two new features. So if you didn't install these optional updates um, that rolled out near the end of last month, um, they, those fixes, features and improvements will be carried over into the Patch Tuesday update now rolling out. And for Windows 11 22H2, um, it also adds animations to the taskbar widget um, that appears in the bottom left of your taskbar. Um, it adds um, animations to icons on the widgets taskbar button for um, Windows 11 version 22H2, which by the way, I haven't seen yet. So obviously that's on a phase control rollout, but nonetheless is, is making its way to Windows 11 22H2. And over and above that, um, as I did mention, I would say the key highlight would be a new feature, which if we head back to Windows Update would be this setting. Get the latest updates as soon as they're available, which Microsoft says when you turn this on, um, they will prioritize your device to get the latest non-security updates and enhancements when they are available for your device. So, And that means that um, this will not include security fixes so it won't include um, patch tuesday updates but all the other updates like um, bug fixes improvements and features um, will roll out as soon as they are available if the setting is turned on so that's a new feature that started rolling out at the end of april and now has made its way by default now with this latest patch tuesday update into into windows 11 22h2 now, over and above um, being an important security update, Microsoft has rolled out one or two important fixes um, that have made their way into this particular update for this month. And um, for both versions of Windows 11, the update addresses a race condition in Windows Local Administrator Password Solution Laps for short, which also addresses an error code. And the same rolled out for Windows 10. So that's made its way into Windows 10 and both versions of Windows 11. And over and above that, um, Windows um, 11 22H2 also gets a fix um, that addresses an issue um, regarding the kernel mode hardware enforced stack protection security feature. Um, the update adds more drivers to the database of drivers that are not compatible with it. it. Says Microsoft, a device uses this database in case you're unaware when you enable the security feature in the Windows security UI and it loads the drivers. So um, that's basically a bit of a fix and improvement rolling out there um, that was affecting the kernel mode hardware enforced stack protection. And over and above that, that's more or less what's new. So we get a whole lot of security fixes, one or two new features for Windows 11 22H2. And as mentioned, I'll leave that other video down below um, for the previous month's bug fix update because it will just give you a lot more information. Um, regarding those improvements that did roll out. And if we just once again head over to Winver, 
which will take us to about Windows. Uh, for Windows 11 22H2, the build has been bumped up to 2261.1702. And for Windows 11 21H2, if you're still running the original release of Windows 11, the OS build will be bumped up to 22,000.1936. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.